Welcome to Two Guys on a Ride. Today we're going to review the 2021 Genesis GV80. I'll tell you about the horsepower, cargo, dimensions, and safety. And I'll tell you about the interior, the controls, and all the technology. Before we get started, take a moment, click that subscribe button down below, and click on that bell icon so you never miss a video. Which, by the way, Rob, it's a little cold today. <laughs> right now it's minus one in Minnesota, but hey, not everybody can film reviews in Southern California, right? That's right. <laughs> so, what do you say, Nate? Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. A warm ride. Yes. Today we're working with our friends at Maury's Genesis of St. Louis Park, Minnesota. This is the 2021 Genesis GV80 3.5T and this particular Genesis GV80 is presented here in Uyuni white and it has a Dune Napa leather interior and it has an MSRP of $65,775. It's powered by 3.5 liter twin turbocharged direct injected 24 valve V6 that produces 375 horsepower and 391 pound feet of torque. It's driven by an eight speed automatic transmission with shift by wire and it has paddle shifters and this one does have all wheel drive. Now, out front, these are fully automatic projector beam quad LED low and high beam headlights, and they do have the auto high beam headlight feature with delay off, and it does have signature daytime running lights. You know, I really do like this split uh, uh, turn signals and how they go on back into the front fenders and they become side marker lamps in the front fenders. And it does have a very Bentley-esque big and bold chrome grill with surround and Genesis wing logo up on the top. Now it does have the body colored front bumper and lower splitter with parking sensors and it does have side air vents and they're right here they are side curtain air vents and I do like the nice chrome detail along the bottom of the bumper. Up top there is again that very Bentley-esque looking hood with its squared off shoulders and above that is the laminated front windshield with speed sensitive rain sensing automatic windshield wipers. Let's take a look around the side. Okay, again, you can see those side marker turn signals that I talked about up front and how they are integrated in with the chrome fender detail. And just as I mentioned that on the front, they do repeat so it gives you that side marker lamp. There's also body colored wheel well moldings and I do like that rocker panel trim down at the bottom. And these are 20 by eight and a half machined finish, medium metallic gray alloy wheels and they are wrapped in P265 50 VR20 all season tires. Now, this is an automatic height adjustable ride control with predictive adaptive suspension and there is an independent multi-link suspension with coil springs and gas pressurized shocks up front with stabilizer bar as well. And out back is an independent multi-link rear suspension with coil springs, gas pressurized shocks, and of course, an anti-roll bar to go along with it. It has power electric rack and pinion uh, variable assisted steering, and it has four wheel disc brakes and full wheel anti-lock brakes with 14.9 inch front rotors and 14.2 inch rear brake rotors. I really do like the nice chrome accent lower body side molding and the body colored power tilted heat auto dimming side mirrors with power folding and integrated turn signal indicators. And it also does have perimeter approach lights and it has the Genesis logo projection when you open the door. It's a really cool feature. It does have the body color door handles with chrome caps and keyless uh, entry, and it does have the chrome belt line and window trim. Along the second row, you can see the deep tinted second row privacy glass, and up top, there are the brushed stainless roof rails, and there is a panoramic power glass side sunroof. A little cold out here. 
Let's take a look around the back. Out back, there is the body colored wind deflector with the integrated LED third brake light. And this is a hands free power opening tailgate. And it does have a fixed rear window with defroster. And that is an intermittent windshield wiper. And I like that the button for the release of the tailgate is integrated into the base of the windshield wiper, keeping that nice back end design sleek and clean as you see it here. I like this crisp line here for the quasi rear spoiler, and it has a surround view uh, monitor backup camera, the little black button that you see there. And these are again mimicking the front and the side marker lights. These are the LED tail lights, and they are the split two level, just like the headlights and the side marker lights. Down below, it is a body colored rear bumper with chrome rub strip fascia accent, and it does have chrome trim reflectors that carries around to the rear wheels and a nice gloss black lower bumper trim down below. Really sharp looking car, especially with this black. There are also then the dual stainless steel exhaust with chrome tailpipe finishers. Let's take a second and listen to that exhaust note. However, the second row seats are split folding 40-40-20 and there's a handy 12 volt outlet and switches to raise the second row. And of course, if it had a third row uh, that's located back here in the cargo area as well. And it's very nicely finished and executed. It looks really, really high end. But underneath the cargo floor, there is additional storage and you see the uh, optional spare tire and it has additional side pocket storage and storage for the rear cargo shade as well. I really do like that. Now, max cargo volume behind the front row is 75.71 cubic feet. Max cargo volume behind second row is 35 cubic feet. Cargo floor length from the front row to the sill is 78 inches. Cargo floor length to the second row from the second row to the rear sill is 43 inches. Cargo width at the belt line is 46 inches. Cargo width at the wheelhouses is 42 inches. Cargo opening height is 29.5 inches and overall lift over height from the ground into the vehicle is 32 and a half inches. Some of the safety systems on this Genesis GV80 are it has forward collision avoidance assist. It has front and rear parking sensors. It has adaptive uh, learning cruise control, lane keeping assist, lane departure warning, remote automatic parking, blind spot collision avoidance assist, electronic stability control, surround view monitor backup camera, front and side view cameras, and so very much more. Let's take a look and talk about the dimensions. Okay, on the dimensions, front track 65.9 inches, rear track 66.5 inches, maximum width 77.8 inches, overall length 194.7, overall height 67.5, and it has a wheelbase of 116.3 inches. It has a ground clearance of 8.1 inches, a curb weight of 4,907 pounds, it can tow 6,000 pounds, it has a turning circle of 39.3 feet, and a fuel tank capacity of 21.1 gallons. What about safety? IIHS and National Highway Traffic Safety Administration have not yet rated the Genesis GV80. So performance, zero to 65.3 seconds with a standing quarter mile in 13 and a half seconds at 98.8 miles per hour. Top speed, 155 miles per hour and braking 60 to zero 125 feet. What about its appearance? Well, the GV80 looks sharp and classy without being overstated, and I really do like those Bentley-esque details throughout. So what about dependability? Basic warranty, six years, 60,000 miles. Powertrain warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. Complimentary maintenance, three years, 36,000 miles. So what about its economy? 18 city, 23 highway and 20 combined. Not bad, not bad at all. Now let's take a look inside, but before we do, take a moment, check out the notes in my description down below. Give us a like, leave a comment, and please click on that subscribe button. So what do you say, Nate? Take it away. 
And stepping on the inside here, I do notice right away the beautiful wood trim right here. And then uh, the nice soft surfaces you have absolutely everywhere on the door. I do like the color combination. This is a, a dune, it's called a dune uh, color. And I think it looks really sharp and you'll see it on the interior in a little bit. Uh, as far as the controls go, you have a window lockout, you have your child lock, uh, safety lock right here, auto up and down all four windows, and then you have your uh, lock on lock buttons, and then you have a power folding mirror, and then your right and left mirror controls, and then your cursors to move them. Right here you do have a two person uh, memory setting, and then you do have uh, quite a bit of storage right here in the door, as well as a bottle holder right here. And then you do have one of your 21 Lexicon premium audio speakers. This driver's seat is quite an amazing conglomeration of buttons here, but basically, it's if you add it all up, it's about a 21 way power seat. Uh, um, not including the comfort stretch right here, that's in addition to that. But it does have a power lumbar, and of course, it will move in any direction you want it to. Uh, moving over here. I do like the uh, the pattern on the brake and the accelerator and then the left foot rest. You do have a fuse panel right in here. Coming up here you have your uh, trunk release, your parking brake. Coming up here you have your dashboard brightness and dimness controls. You have your auto start stop, the feed button right there. You've got your lane keeping assist and your traction control on or off. The steering wheel itself is power tilt and telescope. And that button is right there. The interior dimensions in the front are 40.2 inches of headroom, 41.6 inches of legroom, and 60.2 inches of shoulder room. Now let's step in and take a closer look. All right, it is a push start. Buttons right up here. I do like on the on the HUD display the little Genesis logo comes up. That's really nice. So uh, up here, of course, in driver's information screen, uh, we've got a speedometer, we've got uh, an analog fuel gauge, and then digital RPM and driver's information screen right here that you can manipulate and change a bunch of information on. Coming back here, this is where your auto light switches are and your turn signals, and then on the right you have all of your windshield wiper controls. You do have uh, paddle shifters in the back. And then on the steering wheel itself, over here on this side, we've got volume up and down, and then we can change through different media sources right here. And then you've got your phone on or off, you've got voice command, and then these two buttons here, uh, you know, you can push on the top or the bottom, but the mode will switch between one of about eight or nine different modes, and you can select those. And then this one is a favorite button, which you can program to do any number of things. Uh, over here on the right, of course, we have our cruise control buttons, and this does have fully adaptive stop and go cruise control. Um, th this button up here will control your driver's information screen. Uh, this one down here is, is your gap setting right here. This will increase or decrease your uh, cruise control. And then this one right here will set the mode for uh, cruise control. All right, the infotainment screen is 14.5 inches. It is uh, has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, AM and FM radio, Sirius XM, HG radio, and Bluetooth. It's also powered by, powered by a Lexicon premium audio system with 21 speakers and 1,050 watts of power. And uh, you'll, we'll go through that in detail in another video, but it contains a lot of uh, easy to use information. Coming on down here, I uh, notice all the soft touch on the dashboard here, all the soft materials. Got your air vents. Down here you use your climate control. Um, and then you have a few shortcuts up here for your infotainment screen along with your hazards. Uh, this is a tri-zone climate control, uh, auto climate control vehicle. And you do have ventilated and heated seats right here on both sides. There are th three stages each. And I do like it that it has a physical sync button. Um, down here, of course, you do have an off button if you don't want it on at all. Underneath here, and this is all real wood, by the way, and it looks really nice. I like the matte finish. Uh, down here, you have a wireless phone charger, and then you have uh, two USBs. One is for inputting for into the infotainment screen because uh, it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and then you also have a USB for charging. Slides right back. Coming back here, we have some nice cup holders right in here with a pass-through. 
down a little bit further here, you have your drive modes. Now your drive modes are going to be sport, custom, eco, and snow. And it's just a simple twist. This is your uh, hill braking control. Then you have your, your lock button here for your all-wheel drive system. You do have a parking sensors turned on or off. And then right here, if you push this button, this is the activate the camera for you and also the parking assist button. Over here, we have a rotary gear shift. So it's just a simple uh, twist for reverse neutral drive and then a push for park. I do like the, the, the texture and, and the very clear, I don't know if it's glass or what it's made out of, it's, it's pretty neat. You do have an auto hold button right here. Uh, and that will, of course, if you're going up a hill and you, you put the brakes on, once you release the brakes, you have five seconds to get to the accelerator. Now, it only lasts five seconds, um, but it, it, it is nice to have most of us are to the accelerator much quicker than that. This is another control for the infotainment screen. The infotainment screen is touch, but this uh, will move, and then you use the four arrows, and then you've got back, home, and menu, along with volume and power here, and then tuning right here. Right. Moving back underneath the center console, there is a storage area directly underneath it, and it does have uh, another 12 volt outlet underneath right up in the front here. I always like that when they pack in extra storage in those areas. Coming up a little bit, the armrest here is nice and wide. Um, I love this doom colored uh, leather here that's on the seats as well. Uh, and then to open this, just push a button here, pops right open, it's felt lined, it's very soft. There are no uh, extra uh, plugins or lights or anything, but it is quite deep and it is quite soft. You do have a little storage tray right here that can fit up across. Moving over to the glove compartment here. It's got a dampened open, it's felt lined, it's quite large, and then you've even got like a pencil holder right there or a pen. Moving up to the mirror, this is a, a auto dimming rear view mirror and you got your three home link buttons underneath it. Moving up a little bit further here, if I push on here, you've got uh, your sunglass storage right here. Right up here, there's a button for your lights. It's lit up in blue. It's not a physical button, but if you touch it, that'll bring on your, your lights on both sides. Then this will bring all the dome lights on, front and rear. Okay. And then you've got, of course, uh, a switch here to regulate whether they come on when you open the doors or not. And then over here, you got some of your safety systems. And then right here is your um, panoramic sunroof controller. The visors have a light that comes from the ceiling and they are telescoping on both sides. All right, let's step into the second row and take a look. All right, in the second row, you have the same nice coverings on the door. You got the real wood trim here. And then you, of course, have got uh, your window switch and then your locks. You've got a couple of your 21 speakers. You've got a uh, bottle storage down here. Um, you know, what, what I, uh, I, I really like the design of the door handle. I like how it curves up like that. Okay, on the seat, there are a couple of controls. Um, first one will, will power fold the seat for you, but for you to get it back up, it's locked into place. So you need to push the button again, and then you can lift it up and put it back into place. There's also a tilting lever, and then a lever to adjust forward and back. Now, in the back itself here, I have got, man, I've got the seats adjusted maybe a little bit far forward, but you can see I've got plenty of leg room here, and I've got my seat adjusted way back so I mean this this could be adjusted to almost any position here right here this is where it locks in place you, you can pull and go further but that would be like if you want to reach back there to grab something then of course that nice tilt lever very comfortable seating I, I like the little side bolsters on here you do have storage pockets on both sides this is the third part of your uh, climate control, of course. And you do have, of course, the fan speed here and you've got your temperature setting, you've got some modes, and then you have three stage heated seats on outboard seats on both sides and then an auto button. Down here below, we do have two more USB outlets and we have a 150 watt household outlet as well. The, in the center, you have a pull down armrest and you do have some cup holders as well. 
Now in the ceiling, you have one coat hanger here. You've got another coat hanger up here. Of course, a nice grab handle. And then you do have your reading lamps as well. Now, there are shades in the second row that you simply can pull up or down manually. But that's always nice to have those. All right, coming up next, we're going to take this thing for a ride. Okay, my turn to take a drive in the Genesis GV80. Uh, overall, so far, yeah, I just stepped in it, just pulled away, and um, nice. It's uh, it looks really nice inside. Let's see. Okay, so far the fit and finish is very, very well done. Um, you know, it's, I, I really actually don't mind the uh, media screen. I was thinking it would be further away. I was thinking it'd be a little bit smaller, but the uh, center infotainment screen looks good too. Um, safety systems, you know, uh, front and rear cameras, um, ABS, uh, collision avoidance, uh, uh, you know, radar cruise control, adaptive cruise control, smart cruise control, actually this one has it where it learns from you and how you drive. So many, uh, so many safety systems built in. And I covered those on my exterior review. Um, we're gonna, we're kind of peppy on the takeoff, I like that. We're gonna get it out here on the highway a little bit now and uh, see what the acceleration is. Got some vehicles right in front of me, so not gonna be able to do that yet. Uh, I can tell you on the, uh, the road noise and stuff, very muted. Oh, nice peppy. Kick to it there. Not really a zero to 60 there, but it does that uh, 3.5 liter. It uh, does have a lot of pep to it. I really like it. Um, you know, sound and quietness. I'm on the highway now. We're doing 60 miles an hour. It's a blustery day out. Um, I can hear the wind buffeting up against the car, but overall the vehicle is very quiet. Uh, it's nothing to do with the car. It's actually just how windy it is outside today. Uh, it is wintertime, <laughs> February in Minnesota, so yeah. It's a little cold and windy out, but uh, overall, yeah, very, very quiet. I like it. Very well done. I like the commanding view over the hood. Um, just looks really nicely detailed and finished. Uh, very nice car. Very, very nice car. Well, it's my turn. So, you know, in terms of a comfortable ride, this is like sitting in a little cocoon. Uh, you are well insulated. The seats are super supportive. They're very comfortable. Um, road noise is minimal. It's very nice. Very nice ride. Easy to get in and out of. Well, we'll overlay a little clip here. You'll see me get in and out of the front and rear. And it's very easy. In terms of where everything is laid out, well... You know, this has a slightly longer screen at 14 and a half inches. And while that may be a little bit of a stretch, especially while you're driving on the far right side of the screen, you have the handy controller that's right down below that allows you access to everything. Plus you have voice command. So everything is well within reach. Easy to park. Well, in, in terms of navigating, you know, this uh, has, has a nice feel that the steering is, is uh, nicely assisted. Um, turning around in tight spaces is very easy to do. And um, so just in general, navigating around town is very, um, seems very normal. Doesn't seem like you're in, you know, a, a very large vehicle uh, at all. In terms of parking, well, this literally couldn't get any easier because not only does it have the 360 uh, camera system, it also has uh, remote parking. So you uh, can push the uh, camera icon button down here in the center console to hold it for a minute and it will find a parking place, place for you. It'll do uh, parallel or perpendicular parking and it will run everything. The steering wheel, the gears, the throttle, um, but also, just in case you don't want to sit in your car while it's parking, you can activate that system, get out of your car and use the remote control and do it from outside. Not only that, but you also have um, a system on the remote control where you can, if you get out of the car, lock it, 
and then you remote start it, you can press the uh, forward button and the car will crawl forward to you in a straight line or crawl backwards. And we'll overlay a little video clip of that here. Uh, but that is just makes parking uh, incredibly easy. Uh, the other thing I'd really like is when you turn on your signals, whether it's left or right, the RPM gate switches from RPM to a camera. So it's showing you the camera on the side. So it's, um, I, we've seen that on one other vehicle before, uh, but it's really handy. So you can just check down and you can see uh, your blind spots. So absolutely awesome. Overall, really nice. I like it. Well, that's our review of the 2021 Genesis GV80. It's a little cold review, but that's okay. It's nice and warm and cozy inside this car. And we really do appreciate you spending some time with us. Make sure, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And please, you can see the hands. <laughs> I'm pointing. Click on that subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching.